In the heart of our bustling cities, a quiet green revolution is taking root. But this isn't happening in sprawling country fields. It's growing in glass towers, forgotten basements, and on rooftops, all filled with a futuristic glow. These are urban farms, a vision of tomorrow's food supply, happening today. Imagine gardens without soil, sunlight, or seasons. Here, high-tech systems like hydroponics and aeroponics deliver nutrients directly to plant roots. Specialized LED lights mimic the sun, allowing us to grow fresh produce 24 7 365 days a year, right where we live. This method uses up to 95% less water than traditional farming, and because the food is grown locally, it dramatically cuts down on transportation, getting from farm to table in just hours instead of days. Too many it seems like the perfect elegant solution to feeding our ever-growing urban populations and tackling food insecurity head-on. It's a beautiful, sustainable dream, but here s the shocking truth that often gets lost behind the dazzling purple lights and complex sensor networks. This futuristic vision comes with a significant price tag, the biggest hurdle, energy, powering thousands of high-intensity. Lead lights and maintaining precise climate control around the clock consumes a massive amount of electricity. This not only drives up operational costs, making the final produce more expensive, but it can also have a heavy carbon footprint, especially if the energy isn't from renewable sources. Then there's the issue of technological dependence. These systems are intricate and fragile. A single power outage, a pump failure, or a software glitch can wipe out an entire crop in a matter of hours. We also have to consider the limited variety of crops. While urban farms are fantastic for leafy greens, herbs and some fruits like strawberries, they aren't yet practical for growing staple crops like wheat, corn or potatoes, which form the backbone of our global food supply. For every crisp head of lettuce grown in a skyscraper farm, a price is paid in kilowatts, constant maintenance, and technological complexity. It's a delicate balancing act between innovation and practicality. Yet, despite these challenges, the dream of urban farming not only survives but thrives. Why? Because the idea of creating resilient, self-sufficient cities that can feed their own people is too powerful and too important to abandon. We see this passion in community rooftop gardens where children learn to plant their first seeds, and in the entrepreneurs pushing the boundaries of what's possible with vertical farming technology. So, while urban farms may not be the single solution to replacing traditional agriculture entirely, they represent a vital piece of the puzzle. They are living laboratories, teaching us invaluable lessons about efficiency, resource management, and sustainability. They remind us that the answer to our future food needs might not come from a single source, but from a mosaic of innovative ideas. Perhaps our next meal will come from the most unexpected of places, not hundreds of miles away, but just around the corner, growing right in the concrete jungle we call home. What do you think? Are urban farms the future, or just a fascinating experiment? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this journey into the future of food, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more videos.